Ever have a song you couldn't get out of your head? Sam Johnson did. In fact, one day a song got inside his head and stayed, and stayed, and stayed. For 25 long, nightmarish years, it stayed. Sam Johnson was a wild, carefree guy until the day that melody popped into his head and wouldn't leave. Around town, he was known as a prankster. One time, he took apart a motorcycle and put it back together on the mayor's roof. He changed the letters on the city hall sign to spell his name. And once, he sneaked into a cemetery and stole a tiny statue of a winged rabbit from a gravesite. Then he put that ugly statue in his mailbox, just to give the mailman a scare. But everything changed the day that song got stuck in his head. It all started so innocently, a pleasant little tune softly drifting into Sam's brain, a melody he could tap his feet to and whistle in the car. And he was sure that after a while, the song would disappear. But it didn't. It stayed. The music just stayed there, constantly echoing in his brain, like a broken record. It was the first thing he heard when he woke up, and the last thing he heard before he fell asleep. And when he finally did fall asleep, that song was the soundtrack for his dreams and the background for his nightmares. He went to doctors. Most didn't believe him, and the few that did tried hypnosis or something else that only left him with a bad headache. That song, the one that kept repeating and repeating and repeating, was as much a part of Sam's head as his eyebrows and his nose. Then one day, while walking down the street, Sam came upon an elderly man who took notice of the song Sam was uncontrollably humming. My, oh my, said the old man. I haven't heard that song in years. What do you mean? The song you're humming. It used to be one of my favorites. Sam grabbed the man by the shirt. You mean you know this song? Please tell me what it is. Please, please tell me. Why, sure, I'll tell you, son. The name of the song is Put Me Back Where I Belong. Sam's brain went into overdrive. Put me back where I belong. What did that mean? Why that song? What could be the connection? His mind flashed back through his entire life, every event, the small ones, the big ones. And as he thought back, one moment stood out above all the others. The day he stole that hideous winged rabbit statue from the gravesite. Could that be it? Could that be what needs to be put back where it belongs? Years ago, he shoved the statue deep inside his closet. Could it still be there? He had to check. He ran home and emptied his closet. And there, behind an old coat and a box of vinyl records, he found it. He picked it up, and something very, very strange happened. The music inside his head, for the first time ever, had words. He heard words that went along with the melody. Sam Johnson put the winged rabbit statue in a shoebox and made his way to the cemetery. He ran as hard as he could, as if he were trying to outrun the words and music that were forever echoing in his head. When he got to the grave, Site, he opened the shoebox and carefully placed the winged rabbit where it used to lay many, many years ago. And then he listened and waited and heard nothing. In his head, he heard nothing. For the first time in 25 years, his head was not filled with that one nightmarish melody. Sam Johnson was free, and for him, it was the greatest, most happiest moment of his life. But alas, it was only a moment, for creeping inside his head came a new song, a song that would stay in his head for days, for months. In fact, that tune is still there. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much.